Hi. As an anarchist, I absolutely reject conspiracy theories that are infecting parts of the opposition to capitalism and the system. I first encountered one almost 50 years ago, a couple of days into my first factory floor job. Strangely enough, it came from some of the black workforce who claimed that the Jews were responsible for slavery. Obviously, this led to a heated disagreement. Now, in the second decade of the 21st century, a vast array of conspiracy theories appear to be rampant in people's mindsets and on the internet in particular. Everything is, it seems, down to various degrees, the fault of the Rothschilds, the Illuminati, the Bilderberg Group, the Trilateral Commission, the Freemasons, and with monotonous shape-shifting regularity, the Jews. People who stumble across these festering mounds of irrationality and are suckered in by them develop a mentality where they believe they've gained the truth, something concealed from the gullible population by these arch manipulators. Those who've gained this pseudo-esoteric knowledge usually display gross arrogance and irritation when confronted by the uninitiated. We become the beguiled, the unenlightened, tools of the Zionists. These conspiracy theory delusions are mostly, to put it bluntly, due to a lack of class analysis. However, there is, if you look at the UK for example, the ultimate conspiracy of sorts. This is the near absolute domination of society, the economy, education, law, military, politics, media and the arts by a virtually never-changing minority. These are the privately educated who spring from the same elite that has dominated us for centuries, despite a few minor gains by a handful of working-class people in certain fields, such as the arts and education. In this age of austerity, it's being rapidly clawed back to the situation that existed a hundred years ago, over 40% of actors, a third of politicians, even 20% of musicians have been to fee-paying independent schools. Considering that this represents about 5% of the population, this surely is more than coincidence. The further you gaze up at the top, the more jam-packed it is with those who were privately educated. Don't look further than tomorrow's headlines for a prime example. The two leading figures of the pro and anti-EU campaigns, David Cameron and Boris Johnson, plus the leading can candidate for London Mayor in May 2016, Zach Goldsmith, are all Eton boys. If you want something that borders up on conspiracy, how is it that we're ruled, controlled, dominated by the same statistically insignificant micro factions of the population that we were 100, 200, 300 years ago, from the pre-industrial to the space age. How have they maintained their unbroken control, covered up their crimes and escaped even rudimentary justice, right down today to the establishment Westminster paedophile scandal? The sad truth is that despite genuine elements of working class conspiracy, uh, sorry, of ruling class conspiracy, as in the paedophile scandal, it's almost natural that we've rarely challenged it. We've accepted their crap and wallowed in our subordination. Rather than being conned by conspiracy theories, like I mentioned earlier, we should be asking by what mechanisms do we go along blindly with a ruling class's authority and dominance? Why do we accept it and not overthrow it? Why do we perpetuate their divide and rule strategy, allowing their unfettered class rule? We must break this down if we are ever to liberate ourselves and the rest of humanity. Conspiracy theories, superficially attractive to some, merely lead to dead ends and passivity. This slots very neatly into the ruling class agenda. I'm not interested in cherry-picking the most gifted, talented amongst us to join the ranks of the privileged. As anarchists, we want to bring the entire edifice crashing down. Once again, 
here in fossilised UK, I say political and social revolution is the only way to achieve this. Now, I know I don't reply to online queries, but if you want to meet me and a few like-minded people on Saturday, March the 12th, starting outside Tower Hill Underground Station, I will be conducting a spoken tour about the Battle of Cable Street as we approach the 80th anniversary. So, I hope to see you there. Bye.